My name is Tom Catania. I'm from Enfield, Connecticut, 74 years old, and I'm right in the middle of having my life changed. The new 70 is 40. It just blows my mind, you know, just, it's awesome. It's catching here. There's a wave happening, not only in our church, but in this community, people are responding. We all are on a journey for change in our lives. We were trying to decide what types of programs we wanted to promote in the community and also within the church. And we, we looked at several different types and I had gotten a, a flyer and a letter in the mail from Florida Hospital. After seeing the invitation for pastors in our conference to go to the training, I, I felt this is something I really wanted to do, but I didn't want to do it alone. I always like to take somebody with me when we're trying new things and, and, uh, and bouncing off ideas with each other. And he says, Florida Hospital's got this great program they'd like for us to come up and uh, train for so we can present this in our, our church and our community. After getting the training, came back home uh, reasonably fired up about Creation Health. Uh, Will couldn't resist. He had to start doing a seminar immediately. I started out right here in the gym, the very first program, and I had about oh, 12 to 16 people that attended the eight weeks that we put the program on. Several physicians were invited to participate, some from the community uh, and not members of our faith, others active in our faith, and they partnered together to respond to uh, attendees questions and give counsel to the in the Creation Health Seminar. You know I, I didn't intend to go to the seminar until I was asked to be on that panel. The surprise to me um, was that as I attended and watched uh, the DVDs and, and uh, uh, participated in the program I realized that these were principles that I had heard all my life, but, but they could be applied differently. They're all dependent on each other. And when they're all happening at the same time, you might say firing on all eight cylinders. Life is different. The first session that we went to where they talked about choice made me stop and think about choices I have made and where I haven't made the right choices. We can still do something about it even though I'm 68 and he's 74. It's not too late to change. I have already started um, going to bed a little bit earlier and um, of course getting a little more activity. They came in to lose weight. Weight loss has happened. It's taken longer, but the person is changing. It starts with a few people hopefully having the same kind of experience I've had and enough passion to share it with their friends to come to the next event. We are currently hosting uh, the Creation Health Seminar in a soup kitchen which is adjacent to a homeless shelter. And so we've been working with people of all backgrounds as you can imagine. We work with people who have means and live in nice homes. We work with people who uh, are underemployed, struggling, and even a few people that attend our congregation that actually live in the woods in tents. People will come into you and ask you questions rather than going out and trying to tell them how they should live. America has had a steep incline of obesity over the last couple of decades. It's a scary thing. How do we, how do we fix that? Well, we fix it by lifestyle. And what better tool than the principles that we learn in Creation Health? Right now, health is the discussion of our country. It makes it very attractive for people to engage. It's a lifestyle program developed by Florida Hospital in Orlando, and here today to tell us more about this free event is Dr. Todd Lang. Dr. Lang, thank you for joining us this morning. Oh, it's great to be here. One of the local TV stations picked it up recently, and um, I happened to see Dr. Lang on the, on the TV in the morning, and it's like, wow, this is, this is going somewhere. They get excited about what they're learning, and they say, ah, oh, I wish that we could do this in our church. I wish we could do this up home. Is catching. And that, I think, is the most effective witnessing tool and the most effective tool for change in society. Will Freilich launched that very first one at his gym. The second seminar happened a few months later at the, at the Cultural Center. The third and fourth happened here in our, in our church. The fifth one happened, started over at, uh, the first night was over at the Compass Community Church Plant with Pastor Wagner Smith. And then the sixth one happened a couple days later 
uh, running in tandem with the fifth one on Wednesday nights at our event center. It's a real example of how someone, regardless of their background or their faith tradition, if they see the vision of what Creation Health can do, they can partner with other congregations, even new ministries, social services, the possibilities are endless. If we as a people would live these principles and have the glow, this thing can take off.